Up next, Steve Crane, owner of Poe Restaurant in Manhattan and LVI resident, demonstrates a quick and easy recipe for fresh local swordfish. Hi, my name is Steve Crane. I am the owner of Poe Restaurant in New York City. On my time off, I come down here to Long Beach Island. And one of my favorite things to do, of course, is cook the local fresh fish. And today what we have is we have a beautiful piece of swordfish. A very important thing about cooking anything, especially fish, is you want the fish dry. The drier the fish is when you put it in a pan, the more it's gonna crisp. It will not steam and therefore it'll get a nice crispy crust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry the fish with a little bit of paper towel, like that, so it's got a dry cover. Now I will salt and pepper it. I'll give it a little salt and a little bit of pepper up high and it kind of coats the fish nicely. And I always use vegetable oil, canola. Do not use olive oil. Olive oil has impurities that will burn. It does not have a high cooking temperature. Use canola oil. Now I will take the fish and I will put it down and you can hear the sizzle. The main thing is now, leave the fish alone. A good rule of thumb is in the restaurants, we cook the fish 70% through on one side. This enables the fish to get nice and crispy on the one side. If you try to crisp both sides, you're gonna kill your fish, you're gonna dry it up. Now, in the condiment, I'm gonna use the olive oil because I do want olive oil imparted into the flavor of my condiment. So I'll drizzle this pan with a little olive oil. And then what I did, I cut one clove of garlic. It's all about the fish, not about the garlic, not about everything else, it's about the fresh fish. So you do not wanna overkill. A lot of people tend to throw a handful of garlic. So I'm just gonna give one little clove, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw my chechi beans. Canned beans are a great, great, great substitute for cooking them fresh. These are canned tomatoes, which is fine for the home cook, and actually it's a lot of restaurants, believe it or not, use canned tomatoes. Canned tomatoes are a great product. And the liquid of the tomatoes will stop the garlic from cooking so it doesn't burn. Now, I got my beans and my tomatoes. Very, very important for all food. Please, salt and pepper everything. It's called seasoning. Okay, and a little bit of pepper. And now I have fresh rosemary. Beans, tomatoes, and rosemary are great. And actually swordfish, because of the style of fish, it's a thick, steaky kind of fish, is perfect, believe it or not, with a little bit of rosemary. So I'm gonna put a little rosemary in here. And as you can see, my swordfish is doing just beautifully over here. I'm looking at the sides. You can see a little brown crust here. It's been on about four or five minutes. Now I'm gonna flip it. So I get under here and I put a hand here so it doesn't splash and I gently just, and as you can see, that is really perfect golden crust. That is what you want in any piece of fish you cook. While that's going, I'm almost ready to plate. So by the time I put my beans and my tomatoes and my little rosemary on the plate, this will be ready to go. So what I do is I slant the plate, or the, excuse me, the frying pan down so it just doesn't bring any of that extra frying oil with it. So now this fish is nice and dry. It's gonna go right there. So now I'm gonna finish it with a little extra virgin olive oil. And then I just chiffonated some, some fresh basil, and you always wanna do the basil at the end because it will bruise if you don't, so it maintains its color. What better to finish a fish with is a little bit of sea salt. This is my fresh Atlantic swordfish, pan seared crispy, served over tomato and chechi beans with extra virgin olive oil and basil.